welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, I'm night vlogging. This is new to me. What else is new? Well, I've got the trusty Z7, but I've also broke out the boss's trusty Z6, which apparently is uh, better for low-light situations, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, oh yeah, and I've had a bit of a trim of the beard, so that's new as well. Uh, and where am I? Well, I'm at Whitby, North Yorkshire. A little bit of a weekend break after a bit of a trying week, so a well-deserved bit of rest. And I'm at the end of the pier. Um, there's two piers at the end of the harbour, uh, east and west. I'm on the eastern one, I believe, if I can get my bearings right. And uh, I've never been on this side before. It used to be cut off and they built a bridge across. So the order of the day are these two little light beacons at the back. The light's fading fast. I'm going to try and capture some images. Let's see what we can make of the place. Right then, I'm not going to hang about uh, and go for, into my settings too much tonight. I am really am racing against time. You can probably see the, the light's just dropping so fast. It's going to be pitch black before I know it. I've managed to keep my ISO at 64, which is the base ISO on this camera, on the, on the Z7. And I'm getting really long exposures. I'm already, well, I'm at 30 seconds now, but I've been taking some at about 30 seconds. Realistically, I like that. I like the smoothed out water, and I'm going to, and I'm going to definitely take some pictures like that. I may, I may go longer if I can. And close down the aperture and, and get some really smooth, might even go for a two-minute exposure. When it's like this, you've just got to be really dynamic and keep changing. Just always change your settings and see what you get. Uh, behind me, I've got the town. That's all lighting up and it looks fantastic. The moon's just coming up above the abbey and the church and the St. Mary's Church. So I'm going to get some pictures of that. I'll probably break out the Z6 because it's meant to, as I said, it's meant to be better in low light. And I'll break out, I think, the 300 mil lens as well and maybe zoom in on some of those rooftops, some of those street lights. Just get something different from, from what I normally do. So if this is, image is any good, I'll show you it now and then we'll move on because I've got another location in mind. Right then, I'm at location two. Um, I'm on a little little jetty out in the uh, harbour at Whitby. What you won't be able to see in the darkness behind me is a big old ancient wooden anchor uh, and a lot of old lobster pots. And what I'm going to do with those, I'm going to I'm going to light paint them in. I'll put a bit of B-roll up and sort of show you what I mean because I'm going to use my torch, but it's really difficult to explain and much easier to show you. If you're getting any background noise, I'm looking across the harbour and there's a there's a sea of flashing blue lights, and I, I don't mean the arcades. I think there's been some brawl or something in one of the pubs, I'm not quite sure, so you might hear a bit of background siren, so I apologise for that. Uh, so the other part of this puzzle, and it always is a puzzle with photography, is to try to work out how you're going to get your exposures and what you're going to do creatively, is <laughs> the water's moving around, which means the boats are moving around, so any long exposures for the darkness, I'm going to get bl blurred boats in the harbour. So I'm probably going to go for a relatively fast shutter speed, up the ISO, probably break out the Z6 as I said earlier because it's better for low light, light photography uh, and try and piece it together. Now night photography is not my natural uh, my natural place to be, I, I don't normally do it so um, apologies if uh, this is all a little bit rushed and I'm not going into too much detail but if you like the images and you like this kind of content leave a comment leave a comment below and uh, I might do some more of this sort of thing. Uh, while you're at it please like and subscribe, give that bell a bit of a bash, it really helps the channel and I really appreciate it. So. Uh, yeah, we'll piece this together, do a bit of light painting, here's the image. Mm.
been a bit of an unusual shoot, a bit of a, an unusual video to make for you. Really aren't used to doing night photography and certainly not used to uh, landscape photography in a town on a Saturday night with uh, police and ambulances zooming around with the uh, blues and twos going. Yeah, that was a bit strange. So uh, thanks for persevering with it and hopefully uh, you enjoyed it enough and hopefully the images uh, do it justice. So before I go, I just want to quickly mention uh, in February 2024, um, I'm running a workshop in conjunction with Dave Peck Photography. Uh, it's up in the Yorkshire Dales. I've mentioned it on a few on a few places. I've mentioned it on a previous video, and I've mentioned it on my various social medias. But uh, if you're interested and you you want the benefit of uh, two landscape photographers showing you around the Yorkshire Dales, it's going to be concentrating on all that glorious limestone and a, a few secret waterfalls. Uh, it'll be good, I reckon. Check out my website. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll be seeing you.